<laughs> You're nervous. Yeah, You're the one. <laughs> I know. Jordan, thank you so much for coming here to have this interview with us. And uh, I, the reason I'm nervous is I'm a big fan of this mobilist technology, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's amazing, like Victoria and I have talked about it a lot. And I was like, we just really love this technology. So first of all, can you please introduce yourself? Well, thank you for having me here. And I'm nervous too, so we can, we'll, get, we'll get through this together. I'm Jordan, I'm the founder and CEO of Mobilist Labs. Weira is, or Telefonica Weira are one of our investors. I participated in the, the Weira Accelerator program in 2018. So tell us about Mobilis, its product and services, and what makes it unique in the markets. So Mobilis is a uh, technology company that's totally focused on developing um, new voice communications uh, solutions. And so what we believe is voice is a fundamental and um, very intuitive means of uh, information transfer between human beings and more and more now it's becoming the case between human beings and machines. Um, and so we think this plays a critical role in the future, but unfortunately the whole voice experience is, is quite due for revamp. If you think about the telephone it was invented 170 years ago, the, the, on our mobile phones now, smartphones, which are amazing supercomputers in our pocket, the app that everyone hates the most is the phone. Um, <laughs> and so it, we know intuitively that it's ready for, for reinvention and that's, that's the mission of Mobilis is to sort of reinvent that voice communication experience. Cool, so what's on your hat? Can you please tell us about it? Yeah, um, <laughs> safety first. So this is, this is our, um, uh, Mobi One product is a, a wearable voice communications device. Uh, inside this helmet, I have integrated a uh, wearable bone, uh, bone conduction uh, device that sits right here at the back of my ear. This is called the mastoid bone. And so it's sort of secretly hidden away, but what it's allowing me to do is have what I what sometimes call uh, uh, technological telepathy, um, which means that I can both hear and I can receive and transmit voice communication through vibration in my head. And the first time you use it, it's almost like you hear the voice inside your head. Uh, you, don't hear, you don't have anything in your ears, you don't have anything covering your ears, but you hear the voice uh, as if though you had headphones on or as if though the person was in the room. Um, Super cool. Yeah. Device. Yeah, I was still very impressed to be honest. So, uh, Mobilis is part of our wireless wireless program. Yeah. And um, through this program, you've raised two point seven million dollars last time. Yeah. And can you please tell us more about this process of the fundraising and how did um, wireless benefit you? Yeah. So in our last round, we brought in a, a major strategic uh, investor from the energy uh, industry. And through Wayraise, I um, went through a process of really being able to fine tune the pitch. We've raised before, but you can always do better and. And you can and the pitch always changes and it was really great through the program to get challenged on that point and to one of the main takeaways that I that I took there were sort of two one was the very practical tangible um, best practice for um, financial projections and we, we really received a lot of value from that uh, the second one was a, a little bit more sort of soft which is just understanding the psychology of the investors that we're going to be speaking to and just putting ourselves in their shoes and fine-tuning again the pitch and and all of the material and the timing and the whole strategy around a better understanding of what investors need from you to say yes um, to an investment and uh, that was I think that was sort of the main thing that stood out for me from the program so now we can talk about your story like mm -hmm. mobilist past present and future so first of all like what's your story what inspired you to um, start mobilist my story. So, um, I mean, we could start in the beginning. I'm an engineer by training. Um, I did my uh, studies at MIT and Stanford University in ocean and space robotics. I kind of started developing early on this identity and this, in, you know, this this passion for um, ocean-based technologies and um, intelligent systems. So, robotics, artificial intelligence, intelligent systems in these extreme environments of space and ocean. Um, and I kind of went from there in my studies to, I went through a phase as I call my sort of inventor phase where... Yeah, I heard that you were an inventor before. That was, I think I, think I might have even had name cards that actually literally <laughs> said Jordan Inventor. What was, what was soon to become Mobilis was one of these ideas of um, underwater voice communication. Fa 
fast forward to today, that sort of investigation, the prototypes that I built for that device um, bloomed into a company here in London. And uh, we have an even bigger and uh, more ambitious objective, which is not just to have underwater communication, but to completely change how we use voice as a communication uh, mechanism. I heard that recently Javon has been working with you to deploy your mobile one. So what the industry does Mobilis serve? And also can you tell us more about your different use cases? Yeah, recently we sort of realized through multiple trials in different industries that the energy sector and in manufacturing were some of our core uh, industries where we were a, a, a great fit. Part of that is I think just because the need is so strong in those industries. You can imagine um, in, 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 in areas like refineries, offshore, um, oil and gas uh, facilities, chemical manufacturing facilities, manufacturing facilities. These are some of the environments that are the loudest, the most dangerous, and you're constantly collaborating with some team, whether it's just two people to 10 or 30 people, that collaboration, a lot of that is happening through voice. People are screaming at each other in very noisy environments or they're just not speaking at all, um, which is, that's, that's, that's in clearly impacting productivity in those environments. And so part of our value proposition is to be able to go into an, a very extreme environment like that and say, hey, we can um, solve this issue not through behavior, but through technology and allow you to communicate here just as easily as you would communicate perhaps in a conference room for say, for example. and and. There, what we're really interested in is the health and safety benefits that come with that and the uh, productivity benefits that would come with that. Yeah, what I see is like Mobilis is really solving a problem that no one has been solving and it's just existing there in Asia. So it's really amazing. Yeah. yeah. And um, so how do you ensure that your products perform in the toughest environment? We do a lot of testing. We do a lot of testing um, as we say we eat our own we eat our own dog food we use the product every day the entire team we try and find the bugs and then and then there is a series of uh, standard uh, requirements and qualifications that um, that we design our products from the very beginning to meet so for example in the oil and gas uh, industry you need to meet various uh, intrinsic safety uh, requirements uh, hazardous to go into ha what's called hazardous it must be locations hard, like, it's a long process it's a long process it's a well I mean I, I think the, it really begins with design. So in the beginning, we know this in advance and we, we try and bake that into our design so our products are future ready. Um, and then after that, it's about checking the boxes, making sure that really professional um, laboratories out there that we work with um, evaluate our technology through all kinds of different scenarios, drop tests, heating, uh, cooling, freezing, uh, humidity, um, so that at the end of the day, we can put this stamp of approval on there that says it is safe to go into these environments. Okay, let's talk about the future. As a pioneer of the two-way bone conduction technology, well, how do you see yourself play such a crucial part in the future? Yeah, I think that's where I was kind of going here in terms of being the hub of um, a voice communication interface. So a key differentiator for us uh, with our bone conduction technology is it's bi-directional. We have quite a few patents on that technology. So not only can I hear through vibration, as I'm speaking now, there are vibrations that are being transmitted from my voice back through my jaw, through my skull, and the same device is able to pick up those vibrations and, and, and it functions as a microphone. Um, in addition to that, it functions as a general vibration um, sensor, and so I can, to some extent, pick up other signals, like the, my rate of breathing and my heart rate and various other vibrations that are in my body. But the fundamental one is a really clear voice signal, which we can then put into the digital infrastructure that already exists. I think that's, that's a key part of the future of, of a voice and it all begins with that fundamentally sort of pure signal. I think that's the role that we're going to play as this hub between different people and a hub between people and machines or voice, uh, voice interfaces with a really clear signal that allows you to access these digital, um, digital sort of cloud-based features like transcription, translation, and things like that. Cool, so is that your goal now? If not, like, what is your goal now for Mobilis? Our goal is to achieve that. Tomorrow, um, we want to widen that use case. Um, we want everyone to be using uh, a Mobilis device. Um, 
uh, whether that's integrated into your glasses, whether that's a standalone device that you just sort of stick on behind the back of your ear, but something that gives you freedom as you go through your day to engage with people at a distance and uh, not have to worry about, am I in a noisy cafe? Am I, you know, do I have a rock climbing helmet on right now? And, and how do I communicate with my team down below? Am I on a bicycle and there's too much wind? All of that stuff disappears and you just focus on, I wanna to talk to Esther. So I'm gonna just call her with my voice. I'm gonna initiate a call and we're just gonna talk almost as if though she's in the same room with me. That's super exciting. I really can't wait to see what it's gonna share for Mobilist, to be honest. So um, yeah, that's it for today. Thank cool. you so much for coming today again. And uh, I hope everyone knows more about Mobilist. Thank you. Thank you.